Redivus has a somewhat new mobile GMRS radio that they're calling the RA87. It's got a great manual with it. I've read through this manual, set a couple of local repeater. There's somebody talking right there. We're going to turn that down so that I can talk into the microphone. <laughs> so we're going to take a look through the menus today and key up a local repeater with it. And I'm going to let you guys see what it looks like. Stay tuned. Inside the package is just basically the same old, same old. You do have a programming cable that comes with it right here. If you want to program certain frequencies into the radio that are receive only, or maybe you have some repeaters that have a specific uh, CTCSS tone, you can save that in memory and uh, so that you can go back to them later. Mounting bracket for the vehicle, of course, and your standard power cable with the T connector on the back of it. Other than the manual, that's pretty much the only thing in the box. You do have a microphone with it obviously right here take a look at the screen of the radio taking a look at the website here there's some activity on that repeater there's a couple of repeaters around the dallas area that are pretty active and i listen to them when i'm driving along in the truck usually you can see uh, uh right here this is an ra87 40 watt powerful long range gmrs radio a little bit of marketing uh gibberish there it's a uh, powerful long range powerful and long range are relative to where you are and where the repeater is and where the other station is that you're talking about so for more on range of radio i get that question a lot how far will this radio go how far can you talk on two meters how far can you talk on this specific model of handheld or, or mobile radio if you'd like to know the answer to that put a comment below so this one right here is actually on sale at this point in time it says uh, free shipping to the usa 174.99 you save 125 dollars or 41 percent off sales the summer sale it's got three days and 10 hours left on that summer sale so by the time this video posts i'm guessing the sale will be over but you guys look at it and uh check to the link in the description below redivis did send me this radio and asked me to do a review on it so special thanks to them and i think they have a coupon for my viewers and if so i'll put that below so definitely check the description of this video to find out more about this radio but you can see it right here it's pretty low profile not really big and bulky it's got a monochrome screen with an amber backlight and, and black text uh, that's with the screen off right now uh, maybe you can change the color of the screen i think you can turn the backlight off and that's what it looks like with the backlight off i believe so go there and there. We're going to go through it here in just a minute. So you're going to see what it looks like. Uh, 22 GMRS channels, 8 repeater channels. That's pretty standard. VFO, you can go into VFO and program certain GMRS frequencies and name them something different on top of the 22 plus 8 channels that are there already. You can save a, a new simplex channel that's named camping site or hunting lease. In my, in, in my current situation, I would use it at a hunting camp because a couple of the guys out there have GMRS licenses. VFO means variable frequency oscillator. It's when you turn the dial and go up and down the frequency band. Okay, LCD display, ANI identification code. Not sure what that is. 40 watt long range. 40 watts is good for mobile radio. Anytime you have um, 40 or 50 watts on a mobile radio with an external antenna on your vehicle, you're going to get out a lot farther than talking on a handheld inside the vehicle. So that's always uh, good to know. It's got that nice looking microphone like that with the DTMF pad on it. Vents and fuse aluminum plate effective cooling. Okay, if you say so. Uh, that's a close up of the screen there. So that's a really good looking screen. I'm gonna show you how to get into the memory here in a minute. You can see the VFO and the MR for memory recall button there and other things on their website so here. So let's look at the radio itself. And you can see right here where I've got uh, the left side on uh, 20 repeater. And what I did was I went into it and I changed the CTCSS tone to match my local repeater. And I could save that as a different channel inside the radio if I wanted to. And then I could go back, I could name it Dallas Repeater or something. I could go back and, and still have that 20 RP channel free for other repeaters that might be on the same frequency. These buttons here are dual purpose, as most radios are these days. This one says call right here, and above it is etched into the radio. You've got a secondary option right there. So this one says tone above it. You can set your tone. VFO has memory, two VFO, so you can save. Long pressing that will save into memory. MR is memory recall. MN, I think it's probably right memory. What, what is, uh, like that. Ah, that's a scan. Okay. All right, good. This one's low. This one is your uh, low in reverse. Low is the low, the low button changes the power. It looks like it's got about five power settings. We're going to go through that here in a minute. Reverse, you can lock. That's a lock right there with you long press. Fun is function menu. Function and set takes you into the menu, and you see the flashing one right there. And then you can go through and it's got 62 menus. 
So I'll put a screenshot here of the, of the there's a, a really good breakdown of all the menus in the manual and it's easy to read so you can go through and set all kinds of good stuff on it because it's uh, it's very versatile that way. So to get back and forth, if you see in the top right corner right here, which it might be a little bit hard to see, but there's a TX-L, that means left. That means the transmit's on the left side. So if I hold this button down, it says TXR. Now I'm transmitting on the right side. So we're right here, WRFK311. You see we're transmitting about 47 and a half watts there. And uh, we're transmitting on 22 RP, the channel 22 on the repeater side. And then I can change the frequency here and go that way. And it says L1 there, so I think you can... Okay, so some channels you can change the power settings on, and some channels you can't. And that depends on which channels are and are not shared with FRS. In some radios I've seen, you can change the power, cha power settings between channels 1 through 7, and then 8 through 13 are the ones that are shared with FRS, but apparently it's different on this one. There is a channel listing in the, the manual that shows you what frequencies are which on every channel, so you can look that up as well. But let's go to... Let me see, I'm going to go channel 8, okay, and we see right there we got L1, which is low 1, and if I press that, it's L2, L3, medium, M for medium, and H for high. Channel 8 is one of the shared FRS channels, apparently. I don't know why it's not letting me change. It should let me change power settings on this one, but it's not doing that. It's staying on L1 on channels 1, 2, and 3 also, and you can see it's transmitting about 4 watts on L1. But if we go up here to channel 15, and again, the reasoning behind that is in the manual. I haven't read that far in the manual. But I just wanted to do a power test today. So L1 on channel 15 is 4 watts, WRFK311. And we can go to L2, uh, about almost 11 watts, WRFK311. L3, 19 watts, WRFK311. Medium power is 30 watts, WRFK311. I don't know why you got to press it twice each time, but... And then, uh, yeah, about 43, 44 watts, and it was doing 48 watts on the repeater channel a minute ago. You saw that, WRFK311. So, yeah, it's, it's advertised as 40 watts. It's doing over that, so I'm pretty happy with that. So that's the thing there, and that's how it looks, and it's got... Uh, it does not have a removable face. You can't take this face off. This is the channel knob, obviously. This is the... Uh, this is the volume knob. It does have a squelch knob behind the volume knob. You can't see it very well in the camera right now, but that's where that is right there. Power button's right here, and then the... Uh, okay, they're talking on right now. They were they were talking a minute ago, and then they keyed, let up, and that's why I threw my call sign out, and nobody wants to talk to me. That's okay. There's what the microphone looks like. Uh, four programmable buttons down there on the bottom. Uh, it's got a call channel, VFO, MR, and PF program function right there and I think you can change the I think you can change all those in the menu. It does list a P, PF 1 2 3 and 4 in the menu so I assume that's those four there cuz they're not on the face of the the radio but I would have to tinker with that some more to to verify that. But it is definitely a well constructed good sounding GMRS mobile radio and uh, if I didn't have a 50 watt uh, Oshang radio already already in the truck I might actually Actually, I might trade out to this one anyway. We'll see. It's it's a little bit smaller of a footprint. You know what? I can't do that. I can't do that. My radio has a removable face, and I have all my radios mounted behind the seat and have them remotely mounted up to the front of the vehicle. But this one does not have a detachable face. So I would give that kind of a thumbs down as far as not detachable face. A lot of these overlanding rigs that have GMRS radios, like a Jeep or something, you don't have much room up front, and it's, it's a little bit more cumbersome to put a radio, an entire radio up there and mount it next to the console or underneath the dash or something than it is to mount the head of a radio but each application has good and bad features you can you have to choose your application depending on your vehicle and where you want to put this this would go great in an rv so perhaps i will put this one in my rv so that i have access to gmrs while i'm rving on the road check the description for any coupons that redivis has given us uh those may change over time i don't remember exactly what they told me they told me they were doing some deals for this uh this holiday and that holiday so those change over time and when i get an update i will update the description so even if you're watching this video a few months from now check it and make sure you get that coupon code if there is one thank you for watching today and uh, go out there and um hear you guys on gmrs